Hello Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards and shuffled them. I'm going to be pulling from three Dorian Virtue decks today. The Archangel Power Tarot cards, Archangel Michael, and the Romance Angels. And I'm also going to be pulling from the Whispers of Love deck by Angela Hartfield. Okay, first card we have is Two of Gabriel. Let me make sure you guys can see that there. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So I get for some of you, this is going to be hinging around a, a romantic partnership. I get that, you know, you've been in a relationship for a while. It, it's kind of stagnant. There's even, I get for some of you, been tension about, you know, where's this going and frustrations of just, you know, lack of movement, lack of decision. I do get that you're you're going to come to a decision and they they are encouraging you to act on that decision because I, I do get that this is, you know, this is about a, a great love, a very significant relationship. So, so they're saying, you know, be bold and trust and have faith and, and, and don't pause. Don't let that indecision keep you from moving forward. Don't let that indecision cause the relationship to fall apart. Follow your heart, follow your intuition. And for some of you, I get that, you know, with regards to relationship, I, I get that you've had like a, a new business idea, a new business venture idea, and you're going to be meeting someone that, that will be your business partner that's going to help you bring that to fruition. And same thing, they're asking you to not be stuck in indecisiveness, but to boldly move forward with that thought, with that potential business partner to um, make that happen, to bring your dreams into fruition. And I get for a number of you, that's going to be coming in via an epiphany. You're just you're going to have this this insight, this intuitive, just knowing. And for some of you, if it doesn't just come to you immediately and clearly, what they're encouraging you to do is is to meditate, to pray, to seek those answers because they are inside, and the angels will give you guidance and signs. You're just going to have to ask for them, and they will light the way. You see, he's holding a lantern there. So just ask for those answers because I, I do get that they're going to give them to you. I do get you need to ask for them and, and it will be a major life change, a major shift when they illuminate that and give you that answer. So for those of you that are contemplating a business idea, you know, pray, meditate, ask for help on it and they will, they will give you that guidance. You know, for those of you contemplating marriage, you know, pray meditate, ask, and, and they will give you that confirmation that you're seeking, that you desire to know that you're making the right choice. And for some of you, I get that you're having, for some of you, I get that there's some financial stressors right now. And I get for some of you that there's some health, some health concerns right now. So what they're saying is to, to pray, to meditate, they're going to give you that insight so that you'll know how to proceed forward. And, and they're wanting you to know that it, it it's going to turn out well. Um, you just need to trust and have faith and and ask that they give you that epiphany. Ask that they give you those signs. Ask that they help guide you with that decision. Next card we have is make a commitment. And at the bottom, if you can read it, it says, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So for some of you, I get that this truly is just straight up the meaning for you to commit to that partner that you're, you know, sitting on the, the ledge trying to decide on, to commit to them, to make the commitment to them, go on a honeymoon, get married. Um, this is the partner for you. It is time for you to stop doubting and stop worrying and, and to make a commitment to that person. And for some of you, I get that this is talking about making a commitment to yourself. Because I get for some of you, you're, you're single, you're not happy being single. I get that you keep looking for love, you keep seeking, like you're very, like you're straining, you're trying so hard to find that person, to bring that love to fruition. But you're just blocking yourself from it. Because you need to make a commitment to you. You need to love you. You need to allow yourself to enjoy the joyful experiences in life, to go out, to have fun. Love will just come to you. But first you must commit to you. Commit to what you want. 
create the life you desire. For some of you, I guess it's almost like you're you're hesitating to, you know, accept this job, a new job in a different state, or you're holding off on buying a home, and and you're holding off on these major life changes because you're just waiting for that person because you're like, oh no. You know, I'll buy the house when I've got the, the husband, I'll buy the house when I've got the wife, or you know, I'll move to the to the beach when you know I've got someone to share that with. They're saying to, to stop waiting, commit to you. If you want to have a house with four bedrooms and a white picket fence so you can have your dog go out in the morning, you don't have to walk it on leash, go buy the house. Commit to you. You don't need someone else to make you happy. You need you to make you happy. And once you are happy, that love will come into your life. So commit to you. Do what you love, do what you enjoy. Those decisions that you're kind of intuitively being guided to do, do that. That's your soul's calling, there's a reason. For all you know, maybe that new job at a different state is where you're gonna meet the one that you're trying so hard to meet. But you need to focus on you. Commit to you, because you're amazing, love you, everything else will fall into place. And for those of you looking at starting the new business venture, make a commitment to it. I get, I get you keep getting the intuitive guidance, the intuitive nudges. I get you've been receiving it for a long time, but you're afraid. So you're stuck. So they're saying to stop being afraid. Make a commitment and move forward. Next card we have is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now for some of you, I do get that this is just it's straight up pure meaning that you're going to be getting married, you're going to be going on a honeymoon. For some of you, I get that this is for some of you that are in a romantic relationship, you're, you're married, you've been in a long-term relationship, things just, they're very stressful, you've lost the spark. They're encouraging you to nurture that relationship, bring the spark back by taking, taking a vacation together. And even if you can't get away for a full week, go take a long weekend together and go have fun. Have fun together because that, that will bring the spark back into the relationship that will reinvigorate the the relationship the love and get you back to that place that you want to be because for some of you i get that, it, that it's been it's been it's been rough for a very long time it's it's as though you've just gotten lost in life you've gotten lost in dealing with the kids dealing with the home dealing with bills for some of you even stress of dealing with some medical concerns that when you look at your partner you don't look at them with love in your eyes anymore i get for some of you it's almost like that's someone else that i have to take care of shift that mindset back into a this is my partner this is my lover this is the person who has my back and I have theirs and bring that spark back in because you can <laughs> funny this card is the exact same message they were talking about up there with make a commitment so it says attraction and on the bottom it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and this is coming back again to those of you that are single. It, it's like you're, you're pushing, you're just trying so hard, putting so much strenuous effort into finding the love of your life that you're pushing that person away, that, that potential. Because, because when you're trying so hard, what, what you're really doing is you're coming from a place of fear. And what you're telling the universe is by constantly worrying, I don't have a love in my life, I don't have a love in my life, I don't have a love in my life, what's going to happen is they're going to bring you what you're thinking is, you don't have a love in your life. <laughs> so that's what you keep getting because you, there's just so much stress and strain and you're just trying so hard. They're saying to stop trying, stop straining, let go of that worry, let go of that fear. Because I have for a number of you, you're just, you're, you're terrified that you're gonna be alone and you know, what if I don't receive this love? What if I don't meet someone? Don't be afraid. It will happen when it's meant to happen. You're, you're just, you're causing delays. You're, you're, you're delaying the inevitable with your stress and your worries. So, so you, do, you need to let that go. They're, they're really encouraging you to let that go. Get yourself back to a place where you're committing to you, you're having fun, you're enjoying life. Remember that you are lovable. You are loved, you're lovable, you're worthy of giving, receiving love. Visualize a romantic relationship. Don't focus on it. Just to, like do a little list for God. Okay, here's what I desire in a partner. Write the list, give it to God, trust that it's being taken care of and go have fun. Because that, that joy, that happiness that you're gonna have in your life by just focusing on you, that will, by the law of attraction, bring the romantic partner to you that you desire. But right now you're blocking yourself from it. Last card we have is choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. And if you look at it, 
It's a very lovely card. It's um, actually they just told me the butterfly is signifying for some of you. Um, you know, butterflies they go in their cocoon. They think that life is almost completely over. They think they're going to die. That's when they emerge. They emerge and they come out as a as a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. And I get for some of you that are in that relationship where, for some of you, I get a feeling it's it's, it's almost on the verge of divorce where you're afraid you're going to lose this love and the partner, now you're, you're, you're afraid you don't want to lose them. They're wanting you need to know that that relationship can be like the, the butterfly, the caterpillar coming out of the cocoon. But you have to commit to bringing that spark back in. Go and have fun together. Choose to love your partner. Don't look at them as though they bring more work and, and challenge and strife and, and, and emotional turbulence to your life. Look at them as though, look at them with love, with love have fun together bring the romance back because I do get it, it will totally transform like a butterfly it's going to totally transform your relationship when you start to look at your partner with love and compassion and you start to enjoy each other again those negative feelings will go away and and for some of you that are that are single they said yeah, it's gonna go away completely it all completely turn it around completely transform it and then for those of you that are, are seeking so so strenuously, so hard to find that love of your life. Choose to love you. Get rid of those negative feelings. Get rid of the doubt. Get rid of the fear, the worry. Because, you know, that, that negativity is not going to help anything. It's not going to heal you. It's not going to help the situation. It's just going to block the happiness, the things that you desire. So choose you. Focus on you. Choose love. Choose loving you. Remember that you're amazing and you're lovable. And go have fun. Do things that make your heart sing, make you happy. And here you can see there's a group of people together here, a group of people are. It's not just about romantic love. For those of you that are seeking so hard, go enjoy time with your friends. Go enjoy time with your family. Get to a place of happiness, a place of joy, a place of trust and positivity, and God and the angels will bring you that partner you desire. You just need to get back to a place of happiness and joy so that can happen. You can see there's no rainbow on there. Because your treasure, that person that you desire, that partner of a lifetime, they are awaiting you on the other side of the rainbow. But in order for you to cross over to the other side, you're going to have to start loving yourself. You're going to have to commit to you, to having fun, to enjoying life, to not focusing on the negativity and that which you do not have. And once you do that, he or she will appear. So they're encouraging you to do that. Some great stuff for everyone. I would love to hear from any of you. Thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.